Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Bashim Awashai Bahashim Rakak Wadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son. There is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, who have taught us 100% truth of the scriptures, and honors and citations to the elect document doing these works. In season, out of season, week in, week out, in sincerity and in truth. So as you can see, I'm at the um, pretty much 20 minute mark of the elder Apostle Gabar's uh, lesson that, that he's doing, which was like a response also to uh, to uh, Apostle Tahar's lesson on you know these IOIC guys literally teaching the hell doctrine, okay, which is crazy, especially for an Israelite. Especially for an Israelite camp. Like, that's that's backsliding. That's that's some backsliding for you, man. You know, okay, the so-called Christians teach hell. Okay, you know. We already know they're, they're off. And they ain't got it. But for an Israelite camp? That's, that's crazy. That's crazy, man. So anyway, as, as, as I said, I'm 20 minutes in. And, uh, you know, the spirit hit me. I wanna. I didn't finish the rest of it, obviously. So I'm not even sure if the apostle is going to um, get these scriptures. But, you know, I just really wanted to add, add my own two cents on top of the other apostle Gabar's two cents. And, you know, going into, well, he, yeah, he went into Isaiah 34, how this land shall be a burning, a burning pitch. And because of this land being a burning pitch, it only makes sense. That's why this is a revelation. The... 18th chapter verse 8 it says therefore shall her plagues matter of fact let me start at verse 7 it says how much she hath glorified herself okay this is talking about America alright because America is that, that that great whore you know with the cup filled with abominations and it says how much she hath glorified herself and live deliciously. Yeah, America has glorified itself, man. America thinks that they are the top, top country, you know, and they are the top country uh, 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 as well. Through the through the petrol dollar, they're like the richest country by far, you know. And all these other nations, they get rich, they get rich off of America by selling all their goods here. And uh, America's like the buy, 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 spend, 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 right? And especially our people. So it says, and live deliciously. Yeah, so this place has lived deliciously, man. I mean, come on, man. You got water parks. We Meanwhile, you got other countries that's uh, uh, drinking from them muddy waters. Meanwhile, here you got water parks and houses with water fountains in the front yard. Or you can eat buffets. Meanwhile, you got other people who... Uh, a family that got to... Uh, um, split one damn thing. Or his brother might not eat or something, man. But this place is the place that has lived deliciously, man. This is why everybody wants to come here. This is why everybody... Um, uh, uh, um, changes changes their, their culture, their customs... To blend into... And blend it in with America's ways... So that they can fit in here. Because this place lived deliciously and they want a part of that. They want a part of that delicious, deliciously lifestyle. So it says, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen. And am no widow and shall see no sorrow. Yeah, because, yeah, and that's how they think. They think that nothing bad will ever happen to this place. You had that one guy, I think he was a part of the military. He was popping his shit, boy. He was talking his shit for real. And he was saying... You know, oh man, America got this, these type of jets, that type of jets, these type of defense systems, these type of missiles. And this place will never be destroyed until generations and generations. You know, that's how they all think here, man. They think that nothing could ever bad happen here. Not here. You know? So, uh, verse 8. And, I mean, other, you look at other countries, uh, uh, other places saw sorrow. Other places have seen sorrow, man. Other countries invading them. You know, uh, so forth and so on, man. It only makes sense. So verse 8, here's the point. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day. Death 
and mourning and famine. So yeah, everything is gonna hit this place. It's gonna hit this place like a ton of bricks, man, out of nowhere. And that's what's gonna make it so bad. As well. It says, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord power who judgeth her. So this place, that great whore, which represents which, which represents America, mm -hmm. it says it's gonna be burned with fire fire okay that's what that's how you're gonna have your lake of fire that's where you get your lake of fire from this place is gonna be burned with fire that's where you get your lake of fire from man verse 9 and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her yep they got rich with her they uh they put off they got rich with her and they put off their different ways to uh, um, be with this place. Right? Accepting um, some more than others. Accepting those filthy abominations that was in her cup. Because she's like, hey, if you, if you, if you want to sleep with me, you want to get with me, you know, you're going to have to drink with me. You're going to have to be down. So she offered the cup. Okay, she offered the cup and they drank from it, man. What's what's some of the things that's in that cup? Democracy. Okay, because America got its democracy from from ancient Rome, and this is the, the second leg of Rome. Until then, everybody was just kings, but now every single nation, every single nation has a form of democracy in one way, shape of one way, shape or another. You even had China. China said. That they're more democratic than America is themselves. So. They. Uh, commit fornication with her man. And try and be like her. Uh, you got the alphabet community. A lot of nations. Accept the alphabet community. In one way shape or another. I did a lesson on that. There's 195 countries. On the earth. 170, 175 of them. Accept the alphabet community. All right. You know what they call themselves. And that's a household name. That's a household name that originated. Let me go the other way. That's a household name that originated right here in Babylon the Great. In Green Witch Village, Manhattan. In 1969. In the month of June. And that's why June has became the you know what month. Because that's when it was originated. So that's a household name, man. And it has spread to uh, 175 countries. All right, that have a little, um, pretty much a little cancer there that's grown. So, so yeah, man, they accepted that. Some some nations accept, um, uh, Christianity. Some nations, so like it. Some nations accept that. So. Yeah, man. They committed the fornication and lived deliciously with her, man. Because they had to commit that fornication if they wanted to live deliciously with her. It says, They shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. See? And that's the uh, and that's the whole point right there, man. These other nations, the kings of the earth, and the inhabitants of the earth, as it says in Revelation 17, in verse 2, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. So all these kings of the earth, all these different nations, all the, all the different people within these different nations, they're going to they're gonna, uh, uh, stand from afar off from their countries and they're going to literally be able to see the smoke of the burning of the lake of fire here in Babylon the Great, which is America. All right. That's the lake of fire. Otherwise, you're going to have to explain why are they seeing a smoke of her burning? Why are they seeing that? It all ties in to that lake of fire. Okay? Now, hell, as, as you say, hell is a, well, as a so-called Christian say, it's an underground place. You're not supposed to be able to see that. It's an underground or spiritual place. Well, I don't know what the hell you how the hell you, you you paint that picture, man. Paint that image. 
Is it underground physically? Is it underground in the spirit world? There is no underground spirit world. <laughs> That's that came, that came from Hades, man. Right? I believe that came from the Greeks. There's no underground spirit underworld. You know, except this, this what man? Stop, bro. So that's why they're gonna see the smoke of her burning, because when the missiles bombard this place, alongside with the chariots bombarding this place, um, which let me get a quick precept and come right back, which is where you get Isaiah chapter thirteen, verse nineteen, and Babylon, right? The glory of kingdoms, because this place is the glory of kingdoms. It's it, 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 it's the top kingdom on the planet Earth, all right? Pretty much everybody wants to come here. It says the beauty of the Chaldees excellency. Shall be as when the Mosai overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, and how did the Mosai overthrow Sodom and Gomorrah? He bombarded it, man. He bombarded it with fire and brimstone, and it was so insane, it was so crazy and so fierce that the only people that escaped, Lot and his two daughters, thought that they were the last ones on the planet Earth. They thought that that was happening to the whole Earth. No, that was just happening to. Uh, uh, the five cities, Sodom, Gomorrah, and the cities around about. But they thought it happened to the whole damn earth, man. That's how bad it was, just for five little cities. Now, how much more is it going to be bad for America, man? How much more is it going to be bad for America? So, the same way the most high over through Sodom and Gomorrah, which is what fire and brimstone raining from the sky, right? From the chariots, is the same way the Lord is going to destroy Babylon the Great. And. We know that ancient Babylon wasn't destroyed in that fashion. The um, um, the Persians and the Medes, I believe the Medes first, if I'm not mistaken, overthrew um, Babylon on land, overthrew them, and uh, uh, um, took them out of power. It wasn't taken out by the Most High. So that's this is obviously talking about a new Babylon, the Great Man, a new Babylon, which is what here in America. Okay, so going back to Revelation 18 and 9, right? When they shall see the smoke of her burning, so they're going to be able to see that lake of fire, all right, across the planet, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. Duh. Duh. So the other nations are going to be well her, looking at her, crying for her, just because of the sheer terror. That's coming upon this place. Like, like they say, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Well, I don't know who said that. Because we're going to be cruel to our worst enemies. To the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Hushai. But that's what they say. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. And that's going to make them sick, man. To their stomach. Right? Duh. It only makes sense, bro. So, and so forth and so on as it goes, man. So, yeah, that's pretty much it that I wanted to add. This prayer jumped on me to add in there. It only makes sense, bro. These other camps, man, just I'm telling you, man. And this, and that's why this is Babylon. That's also why this is Babylon. Great confusion. You're trying to sow great confusion, man. There's a billion different doctrines here. But there's only one true doctrine. Okay? Because the Lord, will the scriptures say what? You have not, um, you have not made a hedge, man, and closed up the gaps so that the children of Israel be able to stand in that great day. And the gaps, of course, is referring to fixing the walls, any places where spies can creep into the city and overthrow the city. You're supposed to make sure it's all closed up. So what in this form is that? What the doctrine? You gotta make sure we gotta make sure that the doctrine is all sewn up and closed up tight and strengthened, man. So that nobody can uh, overthrow you and, and lead you astray. Which the hopeful elect isn't gonna go that route anyway. But low ones edifying with that, I'm gonna say shalom.